let us all that we can to build a better future. All right, Daniel, you got a story for the people. Um, heads up, folks, this is going to be a little uncomfortable to listen to. Yeah, okay, this is a very, uh, this story really hits me home. I, uh, this is about Blizzard Entertainment. I was, every, when I was young, <laughs> I know a lot, of, a lot of our audience are just laughing at me when I say that, but when I was young, when I was a kid, when I was a young teenager, I really, really fell in love with Blizzard products. Um, I really loved the Warcraft series, Starcraft. Mm -hmm. uh, they're still gorgeous, beautiful universes, and I was a, an avid player of WoW uh, for a couple expansions when I was younger. Then at some point I had to grow up. Um, or I shouldn't say it that way, but you know what I mean. Um, that game held a very important part of my heart, and the company has been decaying from the inside out like any good empire for several years now. And um, things just got really bad, and they came out with this story that the uh, from Cali that Cali the California State has done this two-year investigation. And it's much worse than I thought, and it ties into why the game is declining, but in this case, from the behind the scenes, how messed up their people have become and how, what monsters they've kind of seemed to have turned into. So um, let's just start with the story. So Activision Blizzard is a breeding ground for sexual harassment with male workers fostering a frat bro culture, which it's beyond frat bro. I think that's like what we said before. It's like frat bro fr uh, have some issues with, anyway with a culture full of rape jokes, crude comments, and groping that even drove one employee, a female employee, to suicide, according to an explosive lawsuit brought by the state of California. And I'm going to go into some more stuff as we get further in. Uh, that includes, quote, having to continually fend off unwanted sexual comments and advances by their male co-workers and supervisors and being groped at cube crawls and other company events where they would just do pub crawls at their desks. Uh, yeah, so during the so-called cube crawls, male employees would drink copious amounts of alcohol as they crawl their way through various cubicles in their office and often engage in inappropriate behavior towards female employees, according to the suit. Um, so there's one story that they're going to talk in here. I'm going to talk in a little more detail. So there's this one woman specifically who killed herself, which is the one I mentioned and it's very tragic. earlier, that um, she was basically being sexually harassed by all of her, or a lot of her supervisors and managers. There was no one she could turn to. Um, the, uh, uh, what, 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 the, the, the employer is the place where you go when you have complaints about your company. Uh, human resources. Human resources literally laughed her off. Um, uh, they were at this uh, company retreat where one of the supervisors brought her and they were passing around a picture of her vagina and just laughing and talking about, oh, like, oh, I remember that, you know, that type of thing. They brought a, uh, and she, I think she was the only woman at this one. It was all the, I don't know that part, but they brought a, uh, a butt plug with lube for her and she killed herself at this event. And that's one of the stories. It's not the only story. There's more. There's a lot more of these kind of stories. So I remember another one, like they would take a lot of women that were pregnant and they would refuse to give them bathroom breaks and they would chew them out for using bathroom breaks. They would, it seemed like every single woman that worked there has been groped at least a couple of times. There's nowhere for them to go. So one woman specifically who was, I believe she was pregnant, when this was happening, uh, one of the her male supervisors was going behind her as she was working, and she went to, um, what's the name of it again? I'm forgetting the name of it again, because it barely exists, Human Resources at Blizzard, and she went to them, and they gave her a pamphlet, and it was basically, F off, it's your problem, and the pamphlet basically said, stop complaining, and she had to then go back to Blizzard and to this, the person that did that, and another person that she accused and she had to apologize for them for being so sensitive and promised that it would not be brought up again and so keep going in with this article wow. it's a toxic culture that even uh, drove one um, employee to suicide while on a business trip due to as i mentioned sexual relations uh, at the holiday party before her death and as i mentioned there's a photo of her vagina that was just being passed around by the management following the death that's when they found the butt public Glenn lubricant and then uh blizzard had the response of saying, how dare you bring up this story? Think of her family and how much they're hurt with this being covered. Not us. We did nothing wrong. But think of how dare you bring this up. Think of the family involved. Uh, so the, while the suit contains frequent references to unnamed Blizzard employees, it calls out the Blizzard president, Alan Brack, by name as being aware and enabling the misconduct. The World of Warcraft team was essentially prone to misconduct, according to... And a lot of the people that work there, most of the people that work there, 
were like looked at them as gods, and that's why they wanted to work there. It was like a dream job. They just didn't understand that they were going to be sexually harassed by a, most, as just the entire culture. And the employee split is about 80% male, 20% female. And uh, literally any time they went to IT, IT would just say, suck it. And um, it, it's, it seems like all levels of Blizzard management were involved in this. And it was, you know, people were just being played as toys. So uh, the World of Warcraft creative director, Alex Afronnaby, alleged that he would hit on women, telling them that he wanted to marry them, attempted to kiss them, and putting his arms around them during company events. He was uh, so known to engage in harassment of females that his suite was nicknamed the Crosby Suite oh, after uh, Bill, uh, rapist uh, Bill Crosby, uh, Cosby, I should say, um, in an afferent reference. So, so they're calling it Crosby as a joke because they're not, they don't want to say Cosby, so they added an R. Other members of the World of Warcraft team would hit on female employees, make derogatory comments about rape uh, with the situ uh, encouragement of their supervisors, uh, according to the suit. One supervisor of the World of Warcraft team reportedly encouraged a male subordinate to buy a prostitute to cure his bad mood. Female employees of the company were also systemically paid less and promoted less frequently due to the possibility that they could become pregnant and miss work. So... This is a company that, by the way, makes brings in the revenue of $8 billion a year. And Blizzard had this response they gave that was just absolutely pathetic, where they're like, they were not even really apologetic. They were just like, hey, we've been working with California on these issues. We had no idea that it would be on this. We're really upset that we engaged with this. No one told us any of this stuff would be bad or harassable or offensive or anything of that nature. Uh, their stock market's taking a dip. Likely in the long term, it's going to recover. Blizzard's making more money than ever with less players because of microtransactions. It is dying, and it is disgusting to see a a gaming, uh, just a franchise that was, that was beloved to me when I was little, just turn itself into this monster that can't even make the game properly. They just have failed at every expansion after I left anyway. And it's probably because <laughs> the female employees are getting PTSD from being harassed in a company that was a dream job for them and told by HR that they don't matter. All right. You know, I, I'm familiar with Blizzard. I've played their games and products before. Uh, but seeing this kind of environment, uh, I only can imagine just what else is yet to be discovered about how Blizzard treated its employees. In fact, there are other articles on how they treated their larger amount of employees and how little some of them were being paid. I mean, this is just right now, again, we're finding just how bad this is. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more women who are going to come forward and talk about the nightmare situation working at Blizzard. Um, it's quite clear that there needs to be a full-on investigation and due process must take place. Uh, but more of these people, more of the women need to come out forward and speak out against the brutality of what it was like working at Blizzard. And uh, the management uh, is acting ignorant. And I think at this point in time, uh, I, for one, no longer have any respect for Blizzard and how they treated uh, the women, the pregnant women, and uh, condolences to the family that lost uh, their loved one who committed suicide. Um, this is yeah. very disappointing. And I will never look at that brand uh, the same again. Yeah, th and the people who are running it, um, this th th things need to change. And Blizzard, um, <laughs> way to way, way 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 to treat people uh, with dignity, yeah. right? Oh wait, they're hypocrites. Oh, this is also the same company that a couple years ago we covered banned a player for saying Taiwan exists <laughs> because they're making a huge amount of money in China with their products. Taiwan, and they also mentioned Hong Kong, too. Well, I'm sorry, yeah. 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 But they, they're yeah. Two, two separate, yeah. two separate they're, they're, events. They're, they're, they're those, into two, one. They're those yeah. two separate events, but yeah. But it's, this is, you know, when I was younger, Blizzard was this, made these games that really kind of brought you to another world. And they were, they were fun. They were interactive. I met a lot of friends on there. And at some point, it was mainly around the time they merged with Activision. Um, they just became all about the money and yeah. they pushed out stuff before it was done. And again, it's like, we're, it's, they're in their hedonism fall, just like America's in right now. We've talked a lot about America, how it's falling as an empire, and how it, there's a certain way that falling empires look when they're in that process. And this is one of them. This is just a fall uh, of hedonism as a side effect or a, a main effect or however it is. 
that is just going to destroy them. Meanwhile, a bunch of other companies have started throwing out MMOs that are directly competing with them, and it seems like a lot of WoW players very recently... Oh, that's a whole other thing on this, is that Blizzard has also been a holier-than-thou on this whole thing as well. So uh, a couple years ago, there was a player that was one of their original... If you ever heard, like, Leroy Jenkins, he's someone literally similar in power or, or longevity to Leroy Jenkins, was a major streamer, something of that nature, who Blizzard would sometimes hire for certain events. There was a sexual assault allegation for him, and it was unfounded, and it turned out to have been made up. They had already kicked him out, uh, del deleted any reference from him in-game, and then you had another character, who uh, Kael'thas, which is a Blood Elf Prince, Rogue Prince, effectively. The and voice his, actor. He, the voice actor also had the same thing, where he was accused of uh, sexual harassment the investigation not only turned up nothing, it was it was debunked just like the previous person. He had already been fired. He had already been blacklisted from the industry by Blizzard for those actions. He had already had, they already basically threw him under the bus. And again, he turned out nothing had happened. Nothing was wrong. They didn't hire him back. They had deleted him from the entire gaming universe and his voice. But now that all this has happened that I read earlier with Blizzard, what is their response? Couldn't have been our employees. The uh, the allegations are a bit exaggerated. Don't worry about it. That's Blizzard. Yeah. And they've been going after. They've literally for like two years, which really got them risk in two or three years. They've just started going after the literal player base as the enemy, which is just a terrible idea when you're paying yeah. fifteen dollars a month. Yeah. Again, uh, wait, wait to tr you know wait 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 to present yourselves as something that you're not. 